Hello, it is Monday and it is a new weekly reading vlog. And um, I'm here with Hamish, um, who is going for Halloween as a satellite dish. He's helping look for aliens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, we have just come back from the vet and he got his stitches out which means he does not need to go back to the vet for his foot hopefully like there's no planned appointments he's all good and he's just to keep his going on for a couple of days well it's a bit itchy after the oh big yawn well it's a bit itchy after the stitches have come out and that's him sorted eh? we'll have no more vet visits what do you think I don't know if you can hear the heavy breathing going on back there. <laughs> Say hi. It's like, woman, let's get in the house. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get him back in the house and my alarm's going off for my meds and stuff as well, so. <sighs> Yay, your stitches are out. I'm so unimpressed right now. I was having such a good day until about... 20 minutes ago. I finished my book. Really enjoyed it. Really good book. Um, really interesting. Thriller horror. It's marketed as a crip horror. Literary psychological crip horror novel. Literally, that's what it says on the back. Um, really, really enjoyed it. I think four? Probably four star. Not like incredible. This book though, if you want to know what it's like to live with EDS, or HSD. This book will tell you. This book will absolutely tell you. Um, set against the backdrop of her being a serial killer, sure, but the descriptions of what it's like to live with EDS are so unbelievably painfully accurate. Um, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, I was really enjoying myself, the fact that I'd finished my book, and then, and then, I went to the, went to the bathroom, turned the tap on to wash my hands, Nothing, nothing here. Nothing came out the tap, and I was like, I turned it off and back on again. Nothing came out the tap. Came through the kitchen, turned on the tap. Nothing came out the tap. I was like, great. So I had to. I used water from the kettle to wash my hands. Checked on the Scottish Water website. Nothing, nothing there. Nothing to say. There's anything wrong. And I'm like, mm, great, fantastic. Uh, so I reported it. And then I was like, I wonder if it's just us. I wonder if it's like the neighbor. Like, I'm going to have to check with the neighbours. Blah, blah, blah. So I checked with Douglas and I was like, water's out. And he was like, ah. Um, so I was like, ah, I don't know if it's just us or if it's the street. So probably need to go ask neighbours, but that requires get dressed and go outside and he was like, I'll go. So Douglas went out and spoke to one of the neighbours who had been phoning other people to see if their water was out and discovered that that's the whole of the village, the water's out across the entire village. Um and I went on to Facebook and checked the local like Facebook page and yeah sure enough everybody's like, has anybody got water? It's like everybody's like, no. Um apparently they've burst a main somewhere where they're doing work. Um Thankfully not the work behind us, because if it was the work behind us that's constantly irritating me, I might have had I might have gone I might have gone Phil Elizabeth. Um but but it's not it's someone else of the water I mean. So multiple people have reported it. Um hopefully they can get it fixed soon, but I I now don't have water in the kettle. Hamish has barely any water. There's no water coming out the taps. Um, like my water bottle empty because I finished it taking meds and didn't refill it immediately which rookie mistake honestly well you don't expect the water to be out um, so yeah we've got a, I have 800 mils of water left from the kettle um, which I'm sort of saving for hand washing um, so Douglas is going to go and get some bottled water because yeah don't know how long it's going to be out hopefully not too long I am taking my meds now with Red Bull because I can <laughs> um, and I'm in a bad mood now so caffeine and 
painkillers is. It's not just painkillers I took, like I had other medications to take, but I just, I'm in pain. So painkillers got added to that. Anyway, um, oh, also I got big mail today. I was having such a good day. Um, I got this, which is the front runner by Elsie Silva. This is book three in the Ruby Creek Gold Rush Ranch, Gold Rush Ranch series, which follows Violet, who is the sister of the boys in, or like three of the boys in, the Chestnut Spring series um, and her friends. So, are we in Ruby Creek? So, these are the repackaged ones. Like, I think these were the first ones written, but these are the repackaged um, covers that match the covers that I've got for everything else. So, I had to get them. So beautiful. I've got one more to get, and then that's my full set. But I'm so excited. I really want to reread these as well because I really do like these. I don't like them as much as the Chestnut Spring series, but I still really, really like them. This means that I get to read A Discovery of Witches next, because I said that was going to be my reward for finishing another Elizabeth. So I'm going to drink my Red Bull, got my crackly fire on, some music on, I'm going to read A Discovery of Witches and try to cope with the fact that there's no water. Hello, it is Wednesday and I was back at work today and I'm exhausted for it. Like, I woke up at five this morning just feeling horrendously sick and with a fever so I was like if I can eat breakfast okay I'll go in so I went in and was just feeling horrendous all day um but got through my shift with you know not too bad a, a day um hopefully it passes I'm still like feverish and stuff like that and still feeling not great but I'm forcing myself to eat so that I've got like something in me um, and let's just hope I can keep it all down. But I have finished last night. No, I finished today because I didn't manage to finish it last night. So I kept falling asleep in the last 20. I'm not even kidding. The last 20 minutes, I kept falling asleep. But I finished Rambling Man by Billy Connolly. And I said I was going to show you the, the cover. So here it is. So here is the cover. It is. Oh, will it focus? It's like. The way he draws is like lines. I'll show you the. I've got the. So this is basically the drawing, but in green foil. So it's like lines, lots of lines. It's funny because it kind of looks like a mummy wrap. Um, we'll see a lot more of that when I read the accidental artist. Because he does like this is drawings. Um, I love this. I was cry laughing at this so much. Because Billy Connolly is not only a national treasure but an absolute hilarity to read from and to listen to. Like I listen, I always listen to Billy Connolly's book via audio because he narrates it, and you just you need to you need to. There's no way you can not. But yeah, um, today's been a pretty today's been a pretty awful day. But yeah, I'm going to go and do some reading. I am reading The Discovery of Witches. I'm only 15 pages in so far. Um, which is not a lot at all, but I've just been too tired to read. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go read and hopefully my day improves. Hello, it is Thursday and I should be at work right now, but I am obviously not. I don't know if I said yesterday that I'd been feeling really nauseous and like really sick um, but I'd been fe feeling like crap yesterday but nauseous and stuff like that, really bad stomach pain and stuff but I went to work because um, I hadn't been sick and I was like hopefully I'll just go away um, but I've had to call in sick today because last night was just horrible I still feel really sick I've not eaten anything today I've been just like I've got my water bottle there that I've been drinking from Got my trusty bowl, just in case I can't get to the bathroom, which is just through there, so it's not too bad. And yeah, my throat's all burnt to hell from stomach acid and bile, which lovely topic. So I'll just I'll just move on. But yeah, I've I've got I've seemed to have a stomach bug, which is great. Um, I don't even know what's like. I don't know, like I've got a fever, I feel like crap, my joints are agony, like this elbow and this shoulder and other joints, it's just like a different kind of pain. I just feel horrendous. So 
I've been literally sitting watching YouTube all day since I got up because I was in bed for a while past when I normally would because I just wanted to be horizontal and I'm just, I'm tired because I didn't get a good sleep last night. I'm trying not to yawn. Um, I didn't want to read but I've just fallen into a, um, I'm not even going to lie, conspiracy theory TikTok, TikTok? Conspiracy theory YouTube. So, yeah, that's fun. Not even conspiracy theories. Just like weird stuff. I thought I'd update you, but I'm starting to feel worse again. So, yeah. Good evening. It is Saturday. I've just taken my hair down, as you can probably see. Because um, it looked even more horrendous than I do right now. I managed to eat today. Um, I have kept food down. It is amazing. Um, I have been quite delicate with what I ate. Like, I had a sandwich and I had soup. Like, that's what I've had today. So, we're just being careful with what we're eating because my stomach's a wee bit delicate. Like, it feels like the muscles feel really sore, you know, when they're like. Anyway, yeah, I'm feeling better. Um, still got the fever. I'm just taking cocodamol, which is paracetamol, and which should bring down the fever. But yeah, I've still got the fever. I'm still going from like roasting hot sweat and like going to stand on the tiles in the bathroom with my bare feet to kind of cool myself down and like running cold water over my hands, like hot, like actually like disgustingly hot, to like absolutely Baltic, feeling like I need to put on layers and layers and layers, and you know. So, currently right now I am in the warm stage, like I feel really warm, like I'm having some kind of hot flash, um, so that's fun. I'm away to go to bed, but I am taking up a discovery which is to continue reading. I just need to change the scenery, I think. It is 5 to 11, um, but neither of us are working tomorrow, so I'm just going to read and see how I feel. Um, it's really hard to... <laughs> It's really hard to like go to sleep when I'm feeling nauseous and when I'm getting fevers and stuff like that. So um, I've been taking my book up so that I can read. Not that I've read the past couple of nights. I've felt too nauseous really to read. Um, but with me feeling a bit better today, I've read a decent amount, I would say. I'm now 280 pages in. It is like a near 700 page book. It is 688 pages. 688 pages and 280 pages in. So I've got 408 pages to read. That was fast math, Andy. Apparently the cooking that's going on in my brain from the fever is cooking up some, some brains, apparently. That didn't make sense. Well, that, that did not make sense. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'm going to read for a little bit. And then... Oh, by the way, I slept so much today. Like, I... Didn't get to sleep until whatever time in the AM, like I saw. If it had it been summer, I would have been like awake when the sun was rising again. But given it's winter, it was dark for a while. Um, but yeah, I could not sleep last night for how horribly nauseous and stuff I was. So I didn't go to bed. I didn't go to sleep until I went to bed early. But couldn't go to sleep until much later. So I woke up. <laughs> I actually overset my alarms because I still set my alarms like I normally would and then I had to phone work um, but I over like I overset my alarm to phone work so I didn't phone work until like 15 minutes later than I meant to which isn't too bad like 15 minutes is not <laughs> you're you get there um, 15 minutes is not too bad so it's still like I phone them at like quarter past nine and I start work at 10 like it's not it's fine. It's just I planned to phone them at nine, but um, yeah, phoned and one of the guys, the guy that answered the phone, one of the partners, was like, oh, "You don't sound good," and I was like, "Thanks." He's really good at doing that. The specific one guy, he really is like quite good at like. There was one time I went in, and he was like, "You do not look well." I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> like you look tired. No, that was another guy. Like he was just like, "You sound horrible. You do not sound good." I was like, "Thanks." Um, but it's because my throat had been getting burned with all the stomach acid, so 
Fun! Anyway, as much as I love recounting me being unwell, um, I'm going to go, like I said, to bed to go get some reading done. Oh, that's what I was saying, sorry. And then I phoned him work and then I went back to sleep and I was like, I'll go back to sleep for like half an hour. Woke up at 12 when my alarm went off to take my meds at 12. So, I, but I just like, do you know those, like I, I had a really disturbed sleep until, so my sex alarm, six o'clock alarm went off to take my pills. I'd had a really crap couple hours of sleep. Went back to sleep again. Like I said, overslept my alarm. It was kind of like in and out between that. Again, not very good. And then when I fell back asleep at like nearly 10 o'clock, I, I was gone. It was like absolutely like the proper good deep sleep that you need. Like, you know, that sleep where you feel like you've slept. Um, So yeah, but then I had to get up because I needed to not be lying down. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it is Sunday and it is the last day of the vlog. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. Um, I'm still not feeling great, I'm not going to lie, but I've showered, which has made me feel a little bit better. Um, and I've got work tomorrow, so hopefully I will survive the day. I still, I don't know, I don't know what's what's up, I just feel kind of nauseous and, and not great. And my back really hurts, like my back is agony right now, but it's such as life when you've got a chronic illness. Anyway, reason wise, I finished A Discovery of Witches. I don't know if I told you I started it. I assume so, because it took me a few days to read, because I was just feeling like crap. I've been sleeping so much, and it just doesn't feel like enough, which is annoying, because when I wake up, I still feel really tired, but I can't go back to sleep. So, yeah. But, I finished A Discovery of Witches. Honestly, see the end, like the last 80 odd pages. So emotional. So emotional. Um, I love this book. I love this series. It is one of my favourite series ever. But the fact that it was described by back in the books has been like adult twilight and now I can't unsee it. I even says in the back, intelligent and off the wall, irresistible to twilight fans. And I'm like, I see it. I see it. I'm not gonna lie, um, Matthew did annoy me a little bit more this time than he did initially, and so did Diana, just with the the way he was really overbearing and the way she was really naive. Like you are a college professor. She was far too naive for my liking, but I still loved it. I still loved the whole like once it gets into really gets into the the meat of the story, um, just we were off. So yeah, really happy that I read that again, and um. I don't know when I'll pick up the next one though because I have so much to read. Also, I am now halfway through Shadow Study. I literally, like, I, this book, I sent a voice note to, to Tori to say that this book has infuriated me. And not in the way you might think. So this has three points of view. So we have Yelena, we have Valak, and we have Janko. Which is, you know interesting to have Janko's point of view but I'm not mad because I love Janko even though he is a little bit of a drama queen um, and an absolute chaos gremlin like he is the chaotic bisexual I will not have anybody tell me otherwise but yes yeah, so we've got three points of view which means it changes point of view as something really dramatic happens and then I'm like so like it's a cliffhanger at the end of every single friggin I only wanted to get to page 100. I'm halfway through the book. And if it wasn't for the fact that I need to go to bed because I need to work in the morning, um, I would absolutely be finishing this book today. But alas, I will have to do it tomorrow because I need to sleep. I do, I need to sleep. I can't be staying up <laughs> all night just to finish a book. Um, when I have work in the morning, <sighs> all this work getting in the way of <laughs> my obsessive need to read, <laughs> eh, it's fine. I have been in a slump, so it's nice that I'm getting so much reading done. Like, this is 688 pages. This is a chonker, so I'm not, which is hilarious because this is 410. Like, this is only... 200 more pages and yet it looks so much bigger. I think probably just the way the 
like everything else, like page thickness and stuff like that. But anywho, anywho, I'm gonna go to bed. If you want to let me know you were here and you don't want to leave a comment, if you leave some kind of witch, vampire, demon emoji or a red emoji, I don't know, for, for Discovery Witches. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.